Hey, good morning, Barons. This is Mr. Murray, your principal. Uh, you know, what a crazy, fun weekend. I hope you all had a great weekend. But uh, I got an opportunity to go up to Oceanside uh, High School this weekend and watch our, our music machine and our Sound Unlimited perform. And you know what, while they were performing, they were so amazing. But I thought about how lucky they are that they have this opportunity to follow their passion, something that they're so interested to do, singing, dancing, and so forth. And you know, it pays off, they're so good, and I was so impressed with them. Uh, I thought, you know, students should do that. You know, if you're, you're passionate about something, just do it. You know, I, I think about myself in high school, I learned how to, I was on the soccer team only my senior year. And uh, because up until my senior year, I was too afraid to try it out because I wasn't that good. I was never that good, but I still was on the soccer team and I got to play very little, but that's beside the point. This Sunday, yesterday, I still play on a 60 and over soccer team. and. Uh, I would never show you pictures of it because it's quite embarrassing, but it doesn't matter. It's something that I love to do. I love soccer. I love playing. I love the camaraderie of getting together with some of my old friends and, and play soccer. Uh, you know, when I, when I uh, five years ago, I learned how to swim. And uh, uh, for five years, I've been swimming every, well, not every day, five days a week. So every morning, Monday through Friday, I'm at Southwestern College pool at 5.30 in the morning swimming just because I found so much peace. Again, I found a passion in swimming. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel healthy. And uh, it's just something that I want you all to think about doing. Find a passion. So find something you're excited about uh, that is productive and, and, and is the, doing the right thing and follow it and do it. Uh, I encourage you to do that. You know, big shout out also on Sunday, I was, my, my mom, my 89 year old mom, 89 year old mom, I, I still spend a lot of time with her. And on Sunday we were driving by and she wanted to buy me lunch. So I pull up the Jack in a Box and I see a couple of our students working there. Shout out to you two guys. You made the best hamburger for me. But my, what I wanted, the reason why I brought that up is I love seeing Barons busy. You know, idle time, I, always, I tell my three sons this all the time. If they're sitting around doing nothing, that is not a good thing. Get up, do something, whether you're exercising, whether you're working on a Sunday, whatever it might be, do something. Don't just sit around and do nothing. Uh, so with that, uh, oh, before I, I, I you know, uh, I wanna just say two things. Boys lacrosse play East Lake tonight at seven o'clock. If they win, when they win, they will be sole champions of, of, our, of our league. And um, I gotta also congratulate our boys baseball team. They swept Montgomery Aztecs. That hasn't happened in many, many years. Our boys, our boys baseball team is a very good team. And congratulations to both of them and good luck to our boys lacrosse tonight. So with that, make it a great day living the Barren way. Welcome back to another BBTV broadcast. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, 2024. I'm so tired. I can't believe juniors still have to do CAS. Yeah, I know, but they'll do great. We just have to show support. You know, that's a good idea. Everyone needs a little emotional support during testing. Luckily, we'll be covering just that on BBTV. Yeah, that's right. Today on BBTV, we'll be giving juniors a motivational push with senior advice to juniors for the CASP exam. Then, we'll be giving out some recognition to our student of the week. Don't miss out on who it is. Next, we have an interview with the boys' volleyball team. And finally, we'll end with a staff highlight. Well, why don't we go see what advice our fellow seniors have to offer? I'm sure it'll be helpful, and I'm sure it'll put their minds at ease. Naomi and Anthony, tell us more. Good morning, Barons. My name's Naomi, and today we're going to be interviewing seniors on advice that they have for the juniors. My advice would be to juniors is to face the monsters while they're ahead of you. Because if we come up against a challenge in our life, we may want to kind of like retreat from it and try to come back better prepared for it. Retreating the monster, I guess, or the challenge also gets stronger. Just face it head on while you have the opportunity to and you'll see how much you can grow. My advice for any incoming seniors is get your college um, applications done early. 
you know, keep up uh, good grades and everything. And then most importantly, just don't forget to have fun your senior year. That's all for today, Barons. Thanks for tuning in. And now, back to the studio. Thanks, Naomi and Anthony. I'm sure junior brands appreciate your support. Yeah, juniors, remember just to do your best and don't stress yourself out too much. But of course, you guys will do great. CASP is nothing new to any of us. The only thing new here is our assistant principal. Good one, Paul. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but anyway, this week we have a student we would like to shout out as Student of the Week. Let's go to Ian interviewing our Student of the Week. Hey Barons, I'm Ian Martinez and today we're going to be talking about the Student of the Week. Today's Student of the Week is Adam. Adam is a senior and is currently 18 years old. Adam's favorite classes are multimedia and yearbook. I really like multimedia because I like to learn how to edit videos and I, learn, I like to learn how to do like Photoshop and all that stuff. Adam says that he enjoys Bonita because most of the people here are nice. Everybody here is nice, like the students are nice and then the staff are nice and also like the staff, like they're really supportive towards their students. Adam's favorite teacher is Miss Valendris because she's an English teacher. Um, she always helps me out with my English homework that I struggle with, like essays and all that stuff. Thank you, Ian and Narissa. And congratulations to Adam for being BBTV Student Spotlight. Thank you for all the hard work you've been doing. Be sure to keep up that hard work. We're glad to have you at Bonita. But you know who else I'm glad to have here at Bonita? Who? The boys volleyball team. On to Miguel, who will be interviewing them now. Hello everyone, I'm Miguel, and today I'm going to be interviewing one of our volleyball players about their upcoming game. Hello, today I'm here with... Dawson. Hey, Dawson. Hello, you too. Can you tell us a little bit of information about your guys' upcoming game against Harvest? Our game is going to be home on April 25th at 5 p.m. And what's your guys' feeling on it? Uh, honestly, we're, feel we're feeling pretty good about it. I feel like we're going to win. And hey, what's your guys' prediction on it? You know, I think we're going to win, of course, and I... I hope we're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah. You guys should come out to senior night. Yeah. Thank you, too. Of I course, wish you guys a lot of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's going to be all for today. Thank you very much. Now, back to the studio. Thank you, Miguel. It's good to see our school sports teams and getting to know them. That's what having students on here is all about. That goes for athletes, scholars, and club members. We want to give you the recognition you deserve for your hard work. Speaking of, it's time for us to recognize our staff highlight. That's right! Let's go to Gail Ampara with our staff of the week. Good morning, Barons. It's Para, and today we're going to be doing our staff highlight on Oscar. Oscar, who is our campus assistant, has been working here for just about 15 years. Uh, the school um, uh, is permanent, 15 years. In May, I have 15 years. and. Uh, 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 two years as sub, so 70 years. He has fulfilled a multitude of roles and played a bunch of parts. So the safety of the, of the school and the student, the, stu the student, the school and the staff. He loves his job and is very happy to be working here at Benita. Uh, interact with the, with the students. I like it to, to talk with the students. That, that improves my personal personal on myself and my English. That's a wrap on that, Barons. Now, back to the studio. Thank you, Oscar, for making Bonita a better place for students to be. And thank you to all the students, parents, faculty, and admin for watching today's broadcast. It's been fun, but now we've got to go. It's been Paul and Priscilla, and, and we're, we're signing off. off.